Mount Sinai, a granite mountain standing at 2,285 meters in the Sinai Peninsula, is a place of great spiritual and historical significance situated between Israel and Egypt. While it's not the tallest mountain in the world, for example, Mount Everest stands at 8,850 meters, Sinai holds a central place in the traditions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, often associated with the exodus of the Israelites. However, the exact route of the exodus remains a subject of debate and uncertainty. This location attracts a variety of visitors, including religious pilgrims, historians, scientists, and skeptics. Furthermore, Mount Sinai is renowned for its intriguing archaeological and scientific discoveries. There is an ongoing debate among scholars and scientists about its precise location, with various theories proposed over the years. In the early centuries of Christianity, between 381 and 384 AD, Eusebius of Caesarea and other pilgrims from Algeria embarked on significant journeys to Sinai. These journeys marked some of the earliest documented pilgrimages to the site. During this period, it was common for mystics, hermits, and travelers to seek profound spiritual experiences in the region, and even the Apostle Paul is speculated to have been a possible visitor. In the 6th century, around the year 538 AD, a notable historical event occurred with the founding of the Monastery of St. Catherine at the foot of a mountain. This monastery is famous for its impressive collection of historical manuscripts, including the renowned for the century Codex Sinaiticus, one of the oldest versions of the Bible. This monastery is often recognized as one of the oldest continuously operating monasteries in Christianity. Ron Wyatt, an American explorer and scholar, sparked debates with his controversial hypothesis that Mount Sinai is located at Jebel Laws. He gained notoriety for claiming to have found various significant biblical sites and artifacts, such as Noah's Ark, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, the location of the Red Sea Crossing, and the Ark of the Covenant. However, his theories are widely questioned and viewed with skepticism by the academic community. The idea that Mount Sinai is located in Midian originates from the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 1, where it is mentioned that Moses saw the mountain of God in this region while tending the flock of Jethro, a priest of Midian. Using this as a basis, in 1978, Ron Wyatt pointed to Mount Sinai and Nawaba, near the Gulf of Aqaba, the eastern part of the Red Sea, as possible locations. In his quest for historical evidence, Wyatt focused on the eastern region of the traditionally associated location of the Red Sea crossing. He speculated that western Saudi Arabia, particularly a tall mountain known as Jabal al Laz, could be the true Mount Sinai. In an attempt to explore his theories in 1984, Wyatt, accompanied by his children, clandestinely entered Saudi Arabia. They were detained by Saudi authorities on suspicion of espionage, and their research materials were confiscated. After 78 days of imprisonment, they were released. Despite these setbacks, Wyatt remained committed to investigating the Red Sea area for traces related to biblical narratives. He explored the so-called Mountain of God, searching for artifacts from ancient Egypt and evidence of Pharaoh's army. Over the years, other researchers and scholars followed in his footsteps, making significant discoveries in the region, although many of them are still considered hypothetical by the scientific community. Among Wyatt's discoveries was a granite rock formation adorned with petroglyphs of animals, which he interpreted as part of the biblical legacy. A team of archaeologists in Saudi Arabia has made a stunning discovery near what they believe to be the true Mount Sinai. They have found a large altar adorned with images of cows and bulls in an Egyptian style, something unprecedented in the region. This intriguing discovery, led by an expert from the University of Riyadh, may be evidence of the legendary golden calf altar mentioned in the Bible. The area near the altar revealed a unique geological formation, an ancient riverbed area with large rounded stones, typical of a once flowing river. A massive rock seemingly split in half was found, possibly indicating the spot where, according to tradition, Moses brought forth water to quench the thirst of his people. Some view this discovery as a potential miracle, particularly noteworthy in an arid and desert region. However, the scientific validation of these theories is still pending. Geology experts argue that more detailed analysis is needed to confirm these observations. Despite the region being a desert with low precipitation, 
Occasional heavy rains, typical of monsoonal climates, may have contributed to the polishing of the rocks over time. The implications of this discovery, if confirmed, could be a milestone in archaeological history and our understanding of Mount Sinai. Amidst the arid landscape of the Negev Desert in Israel, strategically located between Petra and Kadesh Barnea, emerges the intriguing Har Karkam, known as the Mountain of Saffron. This location has piqued the interest of scholars as a possible candidate for the legendary Mount Sinai. The theory suggests that the ancient Israelites may have traveled a route through the Sinai Peninsula, passing by Har Karkam en route to Petra. Archaeological investigations at this site have unveiled a wealth of discoveries, including numerous shrines, altars, circular stone formations, and pillars, accompanied by an impressive collection of over 40,000 stone inscriptions and engravings. These archaeological pieces of evidence, combined with other findings in the area, have inspired some Israeli scholars to propose that Har Karkam could indeed be the biblical Mount Sinai. However, analyses suggest that the peak of religious activity at Har Karkam occurred before the period traditionally associated with the exodus from Egypt, which is typically dated between 1600 and 1200 BCE. Based on new archaeological information, the timeline of the exodus has been re-evaluated to an earlier period, between 2350 and 2000 BCE, in an attempt to reconcile the discoveries with historical timelines. This historical reinterpretation, while innovative, faces opposition in the academic community. One of the main criticisms is the similarity of artifacts and structures found at Har Karkam with other Bronze Age sites in the Negev and Sinai, which could suggest a shared religious culture in the region, rather than a unique aspect of Har Karkam. Mount Sinai, however, continues to hold a prominent place in Christian faith. Recognized as the location where the Israelites experienced significant events and divine revelations, the Israelites led by Moses left Egypt and arrived in the Sinai Desert. There God manifested in a cloud and called Moses to Mount Sinai. Moses sanctified the mountain and ordered that no one should ascend it under penalty of death. God then delivered the Ten Commandments and other laws to Moses. Moses shared these laws with the Israelites who promised to follow them. By divine order, Moses spent forty days and nights in the cloud, receiving instructions about the tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant, the priestly garments, and the consecration of the priests. While Moses was absent, the anxious Israelites created and worshipped a golden calf. God was furious with this idolatry, but Moses interceded for the people. Upon descending from the mountain and witnessing the idolatry, Moses angrily smashed the tablets of the commandments, he ascended the mountain again to receive new tablets, where he inscribed the Ten Commandments during another forty days and nights. Upon his return, Moses delivered the laws to the people, laying the foundation for their future conduct. The crossing of the Red Sea by the Israelites remains a topic of debate. One theory proposed by the Thomas Research Foundation suggests a passage through the Gulf of Aqaba. According to Scripture, Moses asked God to part the waters, allowing the Israelites to pass. The pursuing Egyptians were swallowed by the waters, their chariots destroyed, and they drowned in the Red Sea. Discovery of Moses' Mountain Identifying the real Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia is a documentary that details the investigative journey led by Ryan Melrose, a security expert. Melrose's team, relying on radiocarbon dating tests, suggests that the biblical event of Moses parting the Red Sea took place and that the real Mount Sinai is in Jebel Laws, Saudi Arabia. They postulate that the Israelites crossed into Saudi Arabia through Nuwaba Beach, covering a distance of approximately eight miles. The team considers the possibility that the Israelites may have used a natural bridge known as Nueva Lambert, with a depth of 33 meters, which would have facilitated their escape. They locate Mount Sinai at a distance of about 75 miles from the point of arrival after crossing the Red Sea, in line with theories originating from Scotland. Recent analyses by Glenn Fritz on Weber's crossing are often mentioned by experts from the Thomas Research Foundation. The biblical narrative is compared to a five-mile coastal region, flanked by mountains, which could have been the refuge of three million Jews fleeing Egypt. The theory of crossing via the Nueva Lambert Bridge is intriguing, 
Additionally, it is believed that coral structures in the area could be the remains of submerged chariots when the Red Sea closed over the Egyptians. However, Saudi authorities have restricted diving in the area, preventing further investigations. Drawings of cows in nearby caves are interpreted by biblical historians as indicative of an ancient Israelite camp, which could validate the account of the golden calf. What do you think? Could these be the true historical sites? Are we on the verge of discoveries that shed light on our historical questions? Share your thoughts in the comments section.